Now let's get into something that's unique to Parasoft. The ability to execute full end-to-end -end or omni-channel tests spanning multiple web, mobile, desktop, and API interfaces. I'm going to go here into SOATest, where I have an example omni-channel test set up, where I'm traversing the customer's end-to-end -end experience. I have a series of API calls that initiate getting a key from the system, opening a WebSocket, validating some information from this, and then going completely through the API architecture, swinging back through, going inside of the system to validate all of the individual components end to end. Then it executes the experience on a mobile device, a Selenium based web test, a database, and then some security penetration tests. This test can be created inside of SOA test as a single unit where different testing types are communicating to all the different interfaces. To see this, let's check out the event monitor. The event monitor can see a system's components internally as different API calls are being fired off. In this case, I'm firing off an EDI client. I'm also communicating over Fix and Swift, and there's some mainframe systems that I'm communicating with over MQ using Copybook. The event monitor shows us those internal systems and grabs the data from them to validate the entire experience. Now we move on to the mobile experience. We partner with Xperitest and leverage their cloud for mobile testing. We can really use any cloud that's available. In this case, it's very nice because the mobile tests can actually be viewed here inside of the IDE. So it's starting the mobile test, installing the application, and then it will use the SOA test executor to provide data to the mobile cloud so that we can test on the device directly. So it has launched the device there in the cloud, and now SOA test is providing the values to the phone via Appium to click the different buttons and validate the UI. What's awesome and different about this is that those data values are being supplied from previous test steps. As the phone provides information to us, we will then capture that information and pass it on to subsequent test cases in the future to validate something in the database. Okay, that's finished. So it's going to move to the web scenario and execute a Selenium test. And since I already have all of the API attack vectors, I can also issue a penetration test. For this, I'll use SOA test to enter the application. Then when I'm there, I'll leverage Burp Suite, a security tool, to launch the attack. And these are the results of the penetration test, which tells us what vulnerabilities we have. And then all of this data can be combined together to create a consolidated report. We see all of the different tests that were executed, as well as the requirements to which they were associated. If we had any functional violations, we could drill down to those, view the traffic for those particular calls, as well as seeing all the integrated data together with the entire inventory of the different APIs that we execute so we can understand if we have risk associated with low coverage for any interface.